Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of Tech Tips. My name is Shijal Mia and today we are going to look at how we can frame a trapezoid window opening using MWF. Now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, frame this particular wall. So we go onto the MWF Pro Suite, we scroll down to create, uh, we go into template, we select a template, so I've, I'll decide to use wood set that as active, press close and we click on create and I should create the panel I need. Now when we go into the 3D section you see that I want to frame a trapezoid opening but he has given me a rectangular opening and it's created a void. So you see here I have two king studs and a jack but what I want is just a simple frame. I want no jacks and just probably one king stud and one sill. So what I'm going to do first is select a member, go on wall, click on properties, um, stud justification, put down structural, structural center line, go into a miscellaneous tab, click on open framing, click on open, select the use for all openings, uncheck the additional cripples, uncheck the use jack studs, delete the header 2, delete sill 2 and that should get the framing I need. Click OK and that should do the job for me. So I want to position this header and I want it to sit on the top of my trapezoid. So if I was to show you through a 3D view I will use this align tool. So this align tool should allow me to select this member and this member and there you go. Now the problem we have here is that the header is not reaching to the end to the end of my king stud and these cripples are not sitting on my headers. So here I want to get my cripples attached to the top of my header. So we select one cripple member and we have something called the attach top base. We select the attach top base and here we have attach column. The base needs to be highlighted so make sure that is selected and then we have something called attachment justification. We click on the scroll down bar and we select maximum intersection. We se once, we, once that is selected we then go on to the header that needs to be attached to, select the header and there you go. We do the same for each of the other cripples, base, maximum intersection, select the header and there you go. We do the third one, attach top base, select base, attachment justification maximum intersection, select the header and there you go. I have my cripples attached to the top of my header. So now that I have my cripple sitting on the top of my header, I want I want to get the side of my headers sitting on the side of my king studs. Now how am I supposed to do that? We first select the header and you see something called coping distance. That needs to be set to zero. When that is set to zero, we then use this trim and extend single element. Now before I do that, let me just set to elevation so you can see clearly what's going to happen. We select the trim and extend. We then select the the other side of the king stud and the face of the header and see it has sat perfectly into my king stud. We're going to do the same for the other side. We select the far side of the king stud and that. But here it has overlapped. It is literally going through my kingstone. Now I don't want that for sure. So the last thing I'm going to do is use this notching tool. Select the notching tool. Click on the header and select the king stud. And there you go. Nicely. And what we have now is a perfectly framed trapezoid window opening. Thank you for watching. This is Shijal Mia speaking. Until next time, goodbye.